I'm so excited in my heart to be able to share with you this glorious morning here. And I'll say it again, a glorious morning. We want to continue on with this series, How Long? How Long? Hope you're getting blessed. Hope you're getting inspired and encouraged. I'm reminded again of a passage in Matthew chapter 17 where Jesus took Peter and the two brothers, James and John, and led them up a high mountain to be alone. As they watched him, he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. Even the sunrise couldn't compare with the glory of Jesus. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Yes, Elijah the prophet and Moses the servant of the Lord, both in a glorified form. I want to take another character from the Old Testament, and that is Moses, the servant of the Lord. How long was Moses in the wilderness? How long did it take to prepare the servant of the Lord? Well, I know that he was years and years out in the desert, tending his father-in-law's sheep. It was there in the wilderness that Moses had a fresh encounter with God. And God spoke to him in the form of a burning bush and commissioned him to go back to Egypt to deliver his people. Whatever wilderness you may be in, it could be a good time for God to visit you again. With a fresh purpose and plan for your life, Sometimes we can be in a dry, barren, desert place, and there God gets our attention. Yes, Moses went back to Egypt according to the word of the Lord and delivered God's people from Egypt. And for another 40 years, they wandered in the wilderness. They could have got to the promised land in 11 days, but because of their murmuring, complaining, unbelief, They kept wandering and wandering and wandering around. The Bible says that Moses lived for 120 years. His eyes weren't dim. His body was still full of vitality. And when he died, the people looked for his body, but they could not find it. And the next we see of Moses, he was on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus, the Son of God. How long did this all take? I encourage you to read the story for yourself. What an amazing morning here. We're so glad that we could share it with you. And of course, the inspired word of God. The Apostle John says in 1 John chapter 2 and verses 15 to 17, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and a pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but from this world. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Hey, praise the Lord, that's exactly what I want to do. Let me ask you this question. What sort of attitude did Moses, the servant of the Lord, have towards the world and everything in it? The answer is found in Hebrews chapter 11. In verse 24 it says, It was by faith that Moses when he grew up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. I want you to think about that. He would have had access to everything this world has to offer. But he made a clear-cut decision. And you may be confronted with the same decision yourself today. He chose to be with God's people instead of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. He thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ 
than to own the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. Let me say it another way. Moses endured every temptation, trial and affliction because he saw him who was invisible. How long does it take in our own life to come to a place where we can make a decision like that for Christ and discover all the riches that are found in him? Thanks for joining us with Church on the Beach. Hey, I want you to have a great week and God really bless you.